have work to do. Shadow Keep is almost here, and some of us are going into hoarder mode trying to make sure our characters are ready for the best possible start when Shadow Keep launches. We have 5 awesome tips for you guys to get the dream start in Shadow Keep that will not only let you out the gate running, but also put you in a position for the best customizing experience. So let's get into it. At number 1, we have Bounty Hoarding. Now this is an age old tactic that players have used to level quickly ever since Destiny 1. It's very simple and doesn't really require too much effort. If you're playing Destiny right now waiting for Shadowkeep, it'll be worth your while to complete and hoard bounties. Now while some bounties that will be rewarding gear won't help in the leveling up process, as the gear will be capped at 751, it's the XP that we're after. Having an on-demand stash of XP will no doubt skyrocket your character right out the gate when Shadowkeep launches. Now you might be thinking to yourself, the level cap has not changed from 50, so why would we need XP bounties then? Well this is where the seasonal artifact comes in. This item will provide you with a power level boost, meaning early in the season you could potentially be higher power level than what some activities would require you to be, such as the day one raids or the new match made activity called Vex Offensive. At number 2 we have Dismantling Eververse Items. It's no secret by now that all Eververse items will no longer dismantle into Bright Dust once Shadow Keep launches. Instead they will only dismantle into Glimmer and Legendary Shards. Bungie is potentially looking to decrease the amount of Bright Dust earned while simultaneously increasing the amount of Eververse items available, which means more spending. Players should no doubt dismantle all Eververse items they currently have in an attempt to stockpile more Bright Dust for those tasty upcoming cosmetics. If you're worried about losing your favorite ship or sparrow, it will only be for a couple weeks. Once Shadow Keep launches, you'll be able to buy that ship or sparrow back from the collections for legendary shards and some glimmer instead of the Bright Dust. So just be a little patient. At number 3 we have stockpiling materials. Now while Bungie is introducing new materials that we use for infusion and masterworking, the old materials will be no less valuable. Enhancement cores will still be an integral part of masterworking armor and weapons. My advice here is that you stop infusing items and masterworking weapons for now. Bungie has stated that when Shadowkeep launches, all items that a player has will be instantly set to 750, meaning infusing right now unless you totally need to is a complete waste. I also recommend buying two masterwork cores from the spider each day after reset. The spider's prices for the masterwork cores increase for each one you buy, but reset daily, meaning the cost for two cores each day will be 30 legendary shards. At number 4 we have mod management. As you may know, mods are going to be a huge part of Shadowkeep and the overall building of your character. Mods will only be becoming universal however, once you've obtained them. Bungie has come out to say that if you have a copy of a mod in your inventory, this will count towards obtaining them. So my advice here is getting a single copy of each mod in your inventory before Shadowkeep. It's worth noting that having a mod in your armor or weapon will not count towards obtaining it in the new system. So either you need to scrap that piece of gear that has the mod in or get a new one. Best get down to 801 for that rampage spec. Additionally, I recommend scrapping all your mods except for just that single copy of each. Having a good stockpile of mod components will come in handy as you'll be able to purchase the new mods from Banshee in the tower when Shadowkeep launches. And lastly at number 5 we have a combined entry. Now I know this is a top 5 thing, but since one of these things are so minor, I decided to include it with another point. First off, clean out your vault. Shadowkeep will undoubtedly bring an abundance of new weapons and armor, and you'll need that space in your vault. If you're like me, you might have a ton of useless weapons in there that you thought you might use but never did, or even some armor that you thought looked nice. Just scrap it. If you haven't used it in weeks, then you probably never will. Next we have the XP and loot boosts. Eververse sells a fireteam medallion which boosts XP and loot gains for your entire fireteam for 4 hours. Combining this with the ghost that has the perk guiding light will ensure some super speedy XP gains. But that's all we have. Are you guys as excited as we are for Shadowkeep? Let us know down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, farewell.